and we have a two-part job. Firstly, we renovate homes. Oh my god! <laughs> this is unbelievable. And we're damn good at it. Oh my god! Secondly, we find ghosts. What was that? The lights are going off in all three rooms. Sometimes it's flat out scary. Hey Jake! Found some bones down here! All in a day's work. Jude, I'm the face of this business. I'm the one that makes everything happen. Uh, yeah. We can take care of that for you. We got a call from some new clients today. They want some renovation work done in their basement, and they think that that part of the house may be haunted. So you do have some people in the house that think they've seen some things. Can't wait to find more ghosts. I don't believe in ghosts. I think it's a bunch of garbage. I'm excited, can you tell? Jake, he can just be a complete jerk hole. <laughs> if I need your help, I'll be sure to give you a call. Chad is a full-out believer, and I'm right in the middle. As far as I know, there's no other businesses out there that do what we do. Ready? Let's go. My name is Natalie. I live in Lincoln, Illinois. I am married. I have two children. My husband and I purchased this home almost four years ago. It's a 1901 Victorian, and I knew the first time I walked through it, that was the house. While it had some very beautiful pieces and bones and structure to it, I said that this was going to be an impossible project. At this point, I think that even Natalie's kind of reaching her wit's end. We have been renovating for the last three years, and we're still not done. In that basement. This is probably the last uh, hurdle that uh, we need to get over before we get into the house. I run my own business, and right now I use borrowed office space. I need something a little more permanent. The house is still my dream home. Unfortunately, we've been told it's haunted. There are some very strange things that uh, have gone on. The majority of the activity seems to be in the basement. I don't go down there. That's very scary. I am not entirely convinced that the house is haunted, but if it's a concern to Natalie and it's keeping us from moving in, then I want it taken care of one way or another. Hey, hey how, how are you? Doing? Good. Scott. I'm Jude. Scott, nice to meet you. Jude, Hi, nice Natalie. To meet you. Natalie, can we take a look at the, sure. at the sure. project yeah. space? Yeah. Absolutely. So this will be the office eventually. So Scott, what is it that you envision? Are you wanting to keep this mantle and the Ugh. brick? Or, or do you just want, do you want, you want a fireplace here, but not this one? Yeah, and that would be offset by that whole back wall being wood covered. We're talking cabinetry of some sort. Functionality is key. We need file drawers. We need places to store books. And my idea for the door over here, you've seen a barn door, how they slide open mm -hmm. over the rails. I think that's the kind of doors we're going to use. OK, and there's a lot of mechanics that are hanging down. Unfortunately, which yes. Which is going to leave us with a drop ceiling. You know, my heart seizes up when I hear drop ceiling. There's not too many places to go with it. Yeah, I it's know. going to be difficult. We do have some challenges on this project. Uh, Scott and Natalie really didn't want to go with the drop ceiling in this office, but you have to be able to access these mechanics at any time. It is going to reduce the space a little bit. Well, it sounds like Jake and I have plenty of information to go on. Of course, Chad's been eagerly waiting to, to hear your guys' paranormal stories. There's been some odd things that go on in the basement. Now, the first thing we did was put an alarm system in and the alarm started going off on a fairly regular basis. And so we'd come over, and the only thing report that we got from the system administrator was motion detection. So something was moving, but there was no one there. And about two and a half months ago, my dad was here. I came downstairs, and I hear something. Then I feel something here. I turn around, expecting to see Dad. No Dad. Very strange. I immediately stopped what I was doing, went upstairs, and that was it. And I haven't really come down a whole lot since then. Having talked to Scott and Natalie, I absolutely believe that there is something in the home. Now, my job is to find out what. Hello? 
Hi, my name is Chad. I'm looking for information on a, about a house on Logan Street. Would you be able to help me? Yeah. Great. Doing research on the home is a very important part of an investigation. I'm trying to figure out who's owned the home, how long they owned it, and could this have anything to do with the paranormal activity going on? Uh, a doctor lived there and had a practice in the basement of the home. Wow, that that is really interesting. Having learned that a doctor used the basement for his practice, well, that's an eerie thought. It is possible that people have passed away in this home. This absolutely could be why there is paranormal activity going on. Is there any other pertinent information that you may have about the home? Several owners of the home have purchased it, but for some odd reason, they never moved in. Wow, that is very interesting. Does something not want anybody living in this house? It's day one. It's demolition. We're going to go down, get our tear-out tools, and start busting some of the doorways out, get the fireplace out, and get it prepped and ready to start this project. All right, let's get to cracking. That's a hideous fireplace. It's not even functional. It's outdated, and it's got to go. Ooh, that's how I do it. Since Jake and I have been down in the basement, I've noticed several areas where there's some cracks and some loose brick in the foundation. Hey, Jake. Yep. You got a sec? Yeah. Just kind of looking around, um, there's a lot of loose brick on this interior wall. Right. But it does concern me. So I think I'm going to go out, kind of check out the rest of the foundation. All right. OK. So I'm going to crawl up underneath the front porch and just kind of check out the whole foundation and, and make sure everything's uh, sound. Foundation looks good, but we got a little access here. I gotta find out what's in there. Whoa! What the heck is that? Hey, Jake! Found some bones down here. Learn the hows and whys of some of the top designers in America. Plus, find stylish rooms from your favorite HGTV shows with the HGTV Folio app for iPad, available now on the App Store. Thought it'd be bigger. There's nothing I can't reach in my Subaru. Introducing the all-new Subaru Outback. Love, it's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. We got married, we became a family of five. Without the time and money to wash all this stuff separately. So we wash it all in cold water with Todd. Even Sarah's shorts. Those are mine. Seriously? Throw it all in. Really? Because Tide cleans better, even in cold. You think you take off all your makeup before bed, but do you really? Neutrogena Makeup Remover erases 99% of your most stubborn makeup with one towelette. Can your makeup remover do that? Neutrogena Makeup Remover. Lowe's presents How to Say Goodbye to 1993 Forever. Goodbye. Hurry into Lowe's and get Stainmaster Carpet installed free by Thanksgiving. At Planners, we know how to throw a remarkable holiday party. Just serve classy snacks and be a gracious host, no matter who shows up. Do you like nuts? My name is Ryan McGee, and I am the mother of two amazing girls. I love The Honest Company because they make the safest, most effective products for my family. We started with the cute diapers, and now we use all their products. Plus, the website makes it super easy to shop, and I get the products delivered right to my door. The Honest Company provides safe, natural, and effective products for your family. Start your free trial today at Honest.com. Oh, I could do what Jonathan does. Really? Do I want to do it? Hell no. I make Jonathan do the work so I can collect a commission. I have no problem with that. Watch an all-new Buying and Selling, Wednesday night at 9, only on HGTV. Hey, Jake! Found some bones down here. Bones? Red bones? All right, what the heck is this? 
found some bones down in this cavity. I'm not sure even what kind they are. Kind of got me freaked out. I'm going to get down in there and see if I can get a closer look. I'm freaked out. This house is supposedly haunted, so that just added to it for me. Not quite sure what the heck that is. Man, that might be like skin. Hey, Jake. Yeah. Dude. What the? What do so, you have? Yeah. Jude drags these bones down where I'm trying to work. He's all freaked out about it. I'm not sure what he wanted me to do about it. Ooh. That's a tiny little skull. They're obviously animal bones. They have nothing to do with the ghosts or spirits that may or may not be in this home. So you think the dog chased the cat down there? I guess that might explain it. I'm going to go back to demo. Hey, Jude, if you can, uh, if you can reach, tap me some in here. OK. I just, just didn't want it coming out your head. It. I'm in that casing. Yeah, I'm in that casing. All right. That's my other function. I'm cleanup man. So finished product here is going to be a built-in bookshelf, and it's going to come two feet off the inside corner, and it's going to run down about 10 feet. Because we're dealing with these steel posts and this header system, we're just going to build one flush wall across here. Anybody else need me to cut of any wood? I'd like to cut wood. We got our framing done, so we can go ahead and get started drywalling. A little frustrated right now. I'm really wanting to get the uh, wall with the fireplace drywalled first. Uh, it's holding up our electrician. This better be a piece for this wall. It's going right there. All right. You don't need measurements. It's... We don't need to go around it. Drop ceiling is going to come below that. So all you need is right here. Jake's framing up the fireplace alcove. Or the... Essentially, it'll just be a flush wall with two window boxes and a fireplace kit. As far as any presence that may be in this house, I haven't seen any spirits. We haven't heard anything happen. But I'm excited to let Chad and his team do their investigation, because I really want to know if this house is haunted. You all ready? OK, this is our base area. Uh, for the evening. Trish and Toby are going to be watching the monitors. Luke and Ed, I would like you two to end up in the front room. Jude, Jake, and I, we're going to be in this room right across here. Once we get to those spots, we're going to have a five to 10 minute quiet time. After we get done with quiet time, uh, we're going to do yes, no questions with the K2s. A K2 device is something that picks up electricity that's around it. In the paranormal investigation world, common ideology is that the spirits use electricity to communicate with us. All right, guys, let's get going. Best case scenario is that this is a spirit that's stuck between, that's really just looking for someone to say, help me find the light. That's what I'm really hoping for. This is where you're going to spend your quiet time. Me and Jake? Yes. Everybody goes quiet, sits, and does nothing. We're going to let this house talk to us. Ghost hunting is like hunting anything else, and you got to be patient. And that's probably one of my biggest things, is I'm very impatient. Oh, <laughs> OK. And I'm hard to keep quiet. When did the quiet time start? Do you I, don't, I don't know. Did he, I didn't he start it? Quiet time reminds me of punishment we might have had when we were kids. All right, quiet time now. I hope he does. I hope. I hope. Oh, we got to be quiet. Supposedly, this is quiet time. We're going to wait to hear from the spirits. I'm not uh, enjoying this part of our investigation. If you two set the K2 out in front of you and start asking yes, no answers, 
I'm not sure I'm qualified to ask spirits questions. I'm probably not being very reverent to the investigation, but uh, I'm pretty sure we're wasting our time here. Hi, we're with Bennett Builders. This is our K2 meter, and when we ask you a question, if the answer is yes, just make it go to the two green lights. If it is a no answer, make it go all the way to the red. Are you willing to talk to us tonight? I need to know, are you in the room with me? Thank you for answering that. Can you do it one more time to verify that's actually you answering the question is yes? Yes. Ah, OK. I mean, clearly, it seems to be answering Chad's questions. I've seen this happen before with Chad in this K2 meter, and, and it, it's, it, it's obviously supernatural. We're going to be here all night. Do you have a problem with that? Yes. That's crazy stuff. I need to ask you a very serious question. Do you intend to harm any of us while we're here this evening? What would I do with $50,000? Anything I want. HGTV's Don't Hate Renovate Sweepstakes gives you a chance to win your very own $50,000. You can do whatever you want. New countertops, we have your cabinets, new appliances, flooring, windows, lighting. Enter daily at HGTV.com or HGTVRemodels.com for your chance to win big. It's like sky's the limit. Brought to you by Gorilla for the toughest jobs on planet Earth and these national sponsors. I found a happy space. After school snacking should be fun and nutritious. That's why Whole Grain is first in every General Mills Big G cereal. What matters most should always come first. General Mills, goodness first. With Kosamin, it's what's inside that matters most. That's why server Bethany Hamilton trusts Kosamin Joint Health Supplements. Kosamin has more published research than all other glucosamine chondroitin brands combined. Kosamin means quality in every capsule. FiboFit gently reminds you to get moving. Join the movement. Dear Murphy, thanks for being a warm pillow, a snuggler, and showing me that slobber it just adds character. This holiday season, give thanks to the pets who inspire you. For three days only at PetSmart, save 30% on thousands of items. PetSmart. It's a brand new day. American Laser Skin Care offers clinically proven results at a great value. Get huge savings up to 75% off. Call 877-8-LASER-1 today. American Laser Skin Care. Love what's looking back at you. This is Jack. And this... I am starving! ...is Jack's appetite. It's never satisfied. I'm hungry, I'm hungry. I'm hungry, I'm hungry. Seriously, dude? What? Then Jack's mom started serving Tyson Anytizer snacks. With all white meat and lots of protein, they're the only snacks that make Jack's appetite disappear. Tyson Anytizer snacks. Consider snacking solved. When someone gives you... When a baby's born with a heart defect, parents will do anything to save their child's life. For many infants, there was a life-saving drug available for only $78. But then Bruce Rauner bought that drug company. Newspapers reported they raised the price of the medication from $78 to $1,500. In a lawsuit, the Federal Trade Commission said the profits were unlawful. Rauner made millions. But at what cost? I'm Rodney Davis. Like you, I'm frustrated by the dysfunction in Washington. There's a better way forward. Let's make our economy healthy again. Balance the budget and govern together. Rodney Davis, standing up for middle-class families, creating new good-paying jobs, getting results. As your congressman, my commitment to finding solutions has never been stronger. I'm Rodney Davis, and I approve this message because we can make Washington work for all of us. I need to ask you a very serious question. 
Do you intend to harm any of us while we're here this evening? That was no, and I thank you very much for that. Clearly, there's some type of paranormal activity happening in this, in this basement. Do you have a problem with this house being renovated? Yes? Uh, I am baffled right now. I can't think of any possibilities of what else it could be. But I know there's a reasonable answer besides the fact that Chad's talking to spirits. I'd like to help you move on from here. Would you like that? Yeah? Do you see the light? You do? I need you to go to the light. Are you still with us? OK. I am asking you to do this. Go to the light. Are you in this room with me? After a certain point, there were no more answers. The K2, it just stopped. Yeah, I seriously think they left. And with that in mind, I truly believe that the uh, spirit has moved on. And Scott and Natalie won't have anything to worry about. We have a dead K2, folks. Jake and I have put a lot of thought into this fireplace. This is going to be a custom-built fireplace and refurbished barn wood with early 1900 sconce lighting. It's really going to pull the traditional feel from the upstairs down into the room. And I just need those basically. Do you need these outer holes or the full switch? All them. Since we're going with refurbished barn wood on the fireplace, when we install this custom shelving system, we're going to use some thick barn wood shelves. Picking one element, like barn wood, and using it throughout the room is a great way to tie the room together. Natalie really wanted the sliding door system at the exterior doorway, but we had to frame walls in to cover the mechanics along that foundation wall, and it's just not going to be functional. What we're going to do is we're going to cut a doorway in the brick wall. It's going to lead into the wine cellar. We're going to do the sliding door system there. Have a hole. And we found a gorgeous vintage church door that has a lot of stained glass in it, a lot of color. Scott and Natalie are going to love it. It'll hold a whole 135 pounds right now. <laughs> Hey, guys, want to see something cool? See you get the There you go, stop. I guess you got to be immediate. I hope you guys love it as much as we do. Let's take a look. Uh, oh, my. They call it a minivan, but there's nothing mini about it. Say goodbye to the two-seater and hello to parenthood. Allstate can help you save an average of $3,000 on a new car. Let an Allstate agent surprise you by helping you get a deal on the car you might not want but really need. Plus, call now and get two safe driving bonus checks a year for driving safe. Just a few more ways the good hands are doing more than ever before. Call 866-538-7521 now. I think Prada said no DC each burden for my frequent heartburn. Does it kiss me? Zero heartburn. Prilosec OTC, the number one doctor-recommended frequent heartburn medicine for nine straight years. One pill each morning, 24 hours, zero heartburn. Every cookie here at Left Twix is extra crisp, so it stays crunchy when we apply caramel and chocolate. Right Twix has the same thing. They have packing tape like that over at Right Twix? Try both. Pick a side. Twix. When you're ready for reading glasses, you're usually the last to know. Try these. Okay. They're Foster Grants. Foster Grant. Prescription quality readers without the prescription price. All right, give them back. Take the Jurgens Challenge. Rethink everything you know about body lotion. Meet the new, reformulated Jurgens Ultra Healing. Our best Jurgens goes beyond healthy looking to your most beautiful skin yet. 
in one week, guaranteed. What are you waiting for? Introducing Legs Sheer Energy Sheer Tights. Soft, innovative yarns, micro massage, and energize your legs. Leaves you feeling and looking great. Say hello to your new favorite tights. Sheer Energy Sheer Tights. New from Legs. Did you know that the InnoTab Max has a 7-inch screen and over 600 cartridges, downloads, and even Android apps? And that educational experts make sure that InnoTab Max and software are made to grow with you for years of learning fun. And that the Kid Connect messaging app lets you and your mom send photos and messages. Thoughts? Wow! High praise! <laughs> learning that's wow! The InnoTab Max from VTech. It says here that a woman's sex drive increases at the age of 80. Helps reduce the risk of heart disease. Keep heart healthy, live long. Eat the 100% goodness of post-shredded wheat. Doctors recommend it. So we're in the final stretch of this project. This is our last day to get it complete. We got the trim hanging. We're going to get all the paint touched up that we need to get done. I don't know what got splattered on the wall, but we got a lot of touch-ups. Appears that the hole is a little too small for the handle. I think I'm going to throw it out. Once all that's done, we're ready to bring in furniture. Coming behind you. Leave your booties by the dough. I love gloves. I think I'm done. Okay, guys, are you as excited as we are? I am very excited. I hope you guys love it as much as we do. Let's take a look. All right. Okay. Ready? Let's very go. Good. Here we go. Yeah. Jake and I put a lot of time and thought and effort into making this room perfect. I think that's probably one of the best projects we've ever worked on, and I just hope Scott and Natalie feel the same way. Uh, oh, my. Oh, how nice. Wow. Oh my gosh, look at the door. Natalie, that's a little surprise for you. Holy Isn't it cow. it beautiful? Oh. A sliding door system that we originally had to eliminate. And of course, that's the doorway that's going to go into the wine cellar. I love that. Very good door. idea. Ah! We updated your fireplace with a new natural gas unit. These sconce lights here, they're early 20th century, you know, it really takes you back. They have the old Edison filament. The old filament uh, light bulbs is perfect touch. Yeah, I love that wood. Oh, look at the wallpaper. Ooh, that's pretty. We essentially took this whole wall and framed it straight back into the brick wall here. And that gave us a great smooth surface here to install an amazing custom book system. Again, we have just some natural bulky barn wood, and for me, it just really ties everything together. It looks great. Yeah, yeah. it really looks great. Look at the ceilings, babe. <gasps> oh, how nice. We actually found this gorgeous pressed metal ceiling tile. Man alive, you guys did a nice yeah. job. All your mechanics are hidden in the ceiling, and these tiles do come out. I think this ceiling is really important because it does tie in the rest of the house. Yeah, it feels good. Mm -hmm. This is bigger than a lot of New York City apartments. Yeah. <laughs> the Bennett brothers have done a fantastic job. All my expectations were met. It's gorgeous, and um, I wouldn't change a thing. Since the last time we actually talked, uh, I was able to get into the house, and uh, I was able to connect with the spirit in the home. I asked if they were OK with the house being renovated. They said no. No, they would. We like it as it is. The good part is, is that I actually removed the spirit from the home. Really? Yes. Wow. Oh, that's nice yes. to hear. Wow. The spirit went ahead and moved on. You have no worries in the home. Oh, okay. Absolutely yeah. not. Okay. Well, that's a relief. Yeah. I was a little bit nervous about uh, how that was all going to pan out. That's the last barrier, right? So now we're moving in. Let's move in. At the end of the day, Scott and Natalie have nothing to worry about as far as ghosts go. And they really fell in love with the office. Jake and I did our job. 
Chad did his job. Right now, I'm ready for a cold one. Now, is there a reason that everything kind of slants one way? It's called okay. character count. For Jay, the older the house, the better. Built back in 1776. I love this. <laughs> what I like about old homes is the history.